Yo, what is going on guys, my name is Friendly Machine, and today I've got you a double DNA bomb on the map Terrace, but the gameplay isn't so important. Today, even though it is my best gameplay, I've got you on Advanced Warfare, but first of all, what I want to say is, I want to apologise for the lack of uploads over the past week. It's just been, it hasn't gone my way, right? I said I was going to upload, like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and I wasn't able to do that because my internet went down, so I literally couldn't upload. I made videos, but they didn't have any relevance to upload now because I kind of mentioned dates in them. And I kind of mentioned other things that I would have been doing, and yeah, it just didn't really work out. So today, this is the first episode of Double DNA Bomb on every map. I'm not going to play the whole gameplay, I'm not sure how much I'm going to cut it, but it is a Double DNA Bomb. And today, what I want to talk about to you guys is how to get consistent DNA Bombs, as you can probably see in the title as well. So, how to get consistent DNA Bombs, well, there's a lot of things in doing it, and I'm going to explain everything throughout this video. So, I'll pay quite a bit of attention to this video if you want to know how to get a lot of DNA Bombs, because... This kind of inspired me to make this video off of a subscriber I was playing with. He was saying, oh, how do you get so many DNA bombs? Like, there's just this guy, he added me, and then he kept joining my party. I was like, oh, how do you do it? Like, I was, at first I was like, kind of, do I know you kind of thing? But obviously, yeah, he was a subscriber, I was cool with it. We are playing a bit, and I got like, I got a couple of DNAs. I got like three or something, and then I got one off a double. But the time ran out with him, and it was pretty cool. It was really good playing with some subs and that. So he was just asking, how do I get so many DNA bombs? And I didn't think that was much of a big deal, but I'm figuring a lot of you guys sometimes wonder if I get a lot of DNA bombs, because I've had over 150, and the game's only been out for two months. So I'm going to mention all the tips possible. So what separates consistency from non-consistent players within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Well... First of all, you've just got to really enjoy playing the game for what it is. Just enjoy playing the game, running around killing people, and then you can get onto these other tips. So, separating consistent players from non-consistent players. The consistent players who have them tend to have a lot of the attachments and have a gun that they're comfortable using. So, if you haven't found a gun that you're comfortable using yet, I suggest you do that because, I mean, what's the point in using the bal if you don't like it? Just use a gun that, you know, you've got best, like, your best games with, like, even just performance. I don't even care if it's the X. SMGs or whatever the akimbos if you love using them then you might you know you might really shine in terms of playing Call of Duty and doing well with those guns so it honestly just goes down to what you're comfortable doing when it comes to guns I can't advise you on anything but I've showed you my best class setup video and everything like that and how to get a DNA bomb so I'll link all them down below as well but honestly to get lots of DNAs you don't really want to be like prestiging and stuff all the time because you lose all your attachments for those guns that you actually are comfortable using and it's not very good once you're kind of you know you're getting your attachments back and then you get used to not using them attachments and you kind of get out of the swing of things and it isn't always the best thing to do prestige as well because on my friendly machine account that I'm playing on now where I get my gameplays on no I don't reverse boost but I think the matchmaking now since I've They've apparently taken reverse boost and out, you get like kicked and banned or something. Hence why I haven't been banned because I don't do it, so that's one thing to clear up as well. So, the reason that I get my gameplays on this account, I think, is because the matchmaking isn't really down to skill based, it's stat based. So, it's based on whatever you've got and your rank. And I think because I'm level 50 and I don't prestige, I get, pa I get paired with a lot more, you know, not experienced players who are tryhards at the game because what you want to be doing you want to be making it as comfortable and as easy as you can to get DNA bombs because when I say consistent I mean like four each hour like I, get, I expect to get like four each hour if not like three doubles in one day right now because this is an 80 to 1 gameplay and you'll probably see that at the end as well I hopefully I put the end in of the gameplay because I'm actually watching it as I'm commentating or anything I'm just going to cut it down to how much I've commentated and stuff but yeah like I said just remain rank 50 I mean you don't have to make a new account necessarily but just remain rank 50 if you all wanted to go for DNA you want everything to go your way keep them attachments and stuff like that but what I want to say is as well you want to be playing solo because if you are rank 50 and you've got a friend who's like 8th prestige in a clan got a red clan tag you're going to get paired up against people who are prestige as well like fifth prestiges they're gonna know how to play the game they're gonna know what's going on they're gonna know how to play all the maps they know what goes on in the system right now so you don't want to be trying to get too many dna's i mean i know i've got lots of dna's i've got over 30 that are actually against tryhards and stuff but i don't tend to upload them because they are slower but as well if you are playing those and anyways if you don't get that many dna's to get them consistently you just gotta you just gotta play the game to how it fits you kind of like in ground war it's a perfect example to do that like don't in ground war you as a one-man army if you're playing solo you cannot control the whole map you've got to let the game play to how you were playing on the map i mean i'm not doing laps and laps around the map i'm just mainly staying at the sea flag and things are coming to me yeah but you will find lobbies where that actually does happen you'll be surprised i mean i know a lot of people are like oh you just get so lucky in these lobbies and stuff and i'm like yes 
but I do put a lot of time into the game and I do kind of pay a lot of attention to what goes on and where popular areas are on the map. Just everything really, I mean, and if you do your research and you do your work, you're going to you're gonna have good positive outcomes and stuff like that. So, as well, like I said, don't play super aggressive, just let the game play how it fits you and don't go objective like balls deep and all that because that never really works. I've tried it, I've been there, it doesn't, it's not a very good thing to be honest, I mean you don't need points, all I really run is a UAV, and if I run a system hack I don't really put anything on it, I just have the system hack before I get the UAV with threat detection and speed, and that's only 750 points the UAV with threat detection and speed, so that is a quite easy point streak to get, I don't use support or anything, but as well, let like your teammates do kind of what they want to do and don't rely on them as well, because that is a big key in getting DNA bombs a lot. Don't rely on any teammates. You need to be in complete control of every gunfight you go in. So say if you were like getting shot from behind and there's a teammate, you need to turn on that guy because the teammate's going to let you down. And there's been a lot of times and I've been doing a bit a lot better recently just because I haven't relied on teammates one little bit. So I think I'm going to end it here guys because they're all the tips. And I just want to say if you make a new account, play TDM because you'll find the most noobs on that because most of the noobs click the first thing that they can come and click on which is the game or TDM and Domination. Yeah, there is noobs on it but there'll be more on TDM so if you can play fast, go play TDM and if you can work fast, go play TDM because you'll get faster kills and you'll be able to get a DNA bomb. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, please slap a like. I'll probably upload tomorrow and I'll definitely be doing shoutouts Saturday. I might do two shoutouts because I missed a week. So that'll all be good and hopefully you guys can stick tuned on my channel for everything that happens because I know I didn't upload but I'm gonna, there will be a time, I promise this year there will be a time where I go crazy with uploads but that's it for now guys and if you liked today's video like I said please slap a like and if you really enjoyed it a favourite and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out. I'm holding me for anyone